say no to that. Okay, yeah, this seems pretty good. Added just the right amount of height. I mean, probably. Now that it looks like a screen. Come on! How's it going folks, Jack here with another video. So today I'll be checking out yet another video from Josh of the Let's Game It Out channel. Uh, from what I could understand from the previous one, he is basically a game tester that is breaking games. That's basically what he is and it's glorious. I loved every second of the previous rap video and as a once rap player, that was just neat. Now many have requested that I check out the Satisfactory series and I will jump to that next but first the final or latest video that he has uploaded on Raft which is I completely broke the entire game with just one item in Raft. Um, it just sounds crazy so let's check it out. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Oh boy, it's time for some raft. Oh, the <laughs> fun we've had with this game. Like building this trash collection raft, or even a series of multiple rafts. That was really same. easy to get around by placing just a few zip lines. That's right, just a few. So the game released its final chapter. Freaking spider web. It's time for us to dig in. And for that, we're going to do a new game. So if this is your first time seeing raft, let me break it down for you. This is our raft. This is the ocean. And out right. there is a bunch of trash for us to pick up. Up. Like so. <sighs> Come here, box. Got it. <laughs> Ish. Come here, board. Let's try that again. Huh? Uh, I wonder oh, if he's going to sure. try. Hey, box, you're not getting away that easily. I'm coming for you. And you're probably wondering why wouldn't you just swim out to these things? Because then you can pick up these crates and get fabulous cash prizes. Well, yeah. Because down in the ocean, there's something waiting for Susan. you. Susan. Ah, ouchie. <laughs> so besides avoiding our no, shark gr friend, Grace. We want to be that was the name. All this trash in the ocean. And beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> I just say Susan because I just finished my playthrough of Ultra Kill's first act and in there I made a mention to Susan, the CEO of YouTube, so uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of adrift, grabbing stuff that comes our way until we wander towards things like this. Random little islands. Oh, what secrets do you have for us? Well, let's take a gander. Let's see. Red flowers. Crap. Into the ocean with you. Yellow flower. Double crap. Much better down there. And then we <laughs> Littering the ocean. That we can't have. Not until we chop this down. And for that, we need an axe, which we can craft. And we have planks and rope, but we still need some stone. I bet we can find some down here on the ocean floor. Ah, there we go. Oh, no. Flesh wound or not, I need this rock. Okay, now we can make an axe. And I'm gonna celebrate by collecting palm leaves, planks, and victory and mango. mango. And to destroy the tree so no one else can enjoy it. Now it's time <laughs> to stare at the sunset and enjoy my victory mango. Mmm. Anyway, back Mangoes to the Mangoes are nice. Oh, hello, shark. What do you want? Hey, stop it. Get off that. Stop hitting the raft. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that the shark can eat your raft. That's okay. That's what the building hammer is for. To do stuff like build more foundation parts, which we uh -huh. can use to repair the shark's love bites. And more if we want. I mean, until we don't have enough supplies. Then we just have to live with our choices. But that's okay. We just take to the open water again, gather trash, and before you know it, you're going to be overflowing with supplies. Literally. You'll have so many things, they'll just be falling off you. And that's yeah. when it's time to expand and have some small storage. I That's a lot of collection to have that going on for you in the very first go. I just want to point out that he is doing a lot on the side to make these videos. That is just insane. And especially if he's just... I, I don't want to assume because last time the monstrosity that he created was uh, Quaint. I seen the thumbnail. Okay, I'm expecting something crazy, but so far uh, I don't know. Love it when you go to play something, you've got the little pointy finger, like yeah, right there. Okay, and this is great and all, but it doesn't really offer that much space. But we might as well think ahead, right? And thankfully, with the build hammer, not only can we build out, but we can build up as well, like so. Yeah. Instead of taking up useful space on the ground, we can just attach it like so. Yeah. Well, what the hey? Why stop there? We don't want to run out of space. Do we? Uh, oh yeah, there no! We go. Much, much, much better. <laughs> ah, just calmly bobbing in the waves. Look at that. We have so much space now. Ah! Please stop. Please stop. 
No. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that's okay. We didn't want to expand too quick anyway, did we? Duly noted, we'll keep the raft small. That's okay. I think I know an alternate way we can handle this. One of the items we can make is the fishing rod, which we can use to catch fish to make shark bait. Keep the shark busy. Here you go. Hey, shark, go get it. Mmm. No. There you go. Enjoy being distracted. Meanwhile, I was grabbing some of these barrels, and I got a decoration package. The hell oh. is this? Well, only one way to find out. What's in you it? learned rug. Oh, I see. It teaches you how to make new stuff. Like this stunning rug. Can I just put it along the edge like this? You sure can. And can I walk on it? You sure can't. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna place four of these things down then. So instead, Breaking we have this really physics. awkward looking raft. Well, let's collect more of these if we can. Okay, we've collected a whole bunch of these things. Oh boy, I love surprises. Let's <laughs> see what we got. Motivational quote. Teasingly Yay. perfect. I'll be the judge of that. And there. Good things come to those who float. Amazing <laughs> addition. And let's see what else we got. Another motivational quote. Ah, uh, yeah. Seize he day. Oh, wait. Seize the day. I like <laughs> seize it. And the day. clock. Thank God we can just keep adding more stuff to the pile. Bless my stars. Another motivational quote. Okay, oh, let's wow. see. Our vision board's getting a little full. But hey, that seems like a perfectly good place. Good live. Come laugh. Who float <laughs> sail. Now sick. we're making real art. Curtains. String lights. Oh, yeah. That really adds to the decor. Wow. I don't know if anything's going to be able to beat string lights. I stand corrected. What a beautiful way to seize the day. <laughs> Nothing like doing your business with a view. Anyway. <laughs> it just like that. It's like a home theater. <laughs> Motivation all the way. Like that you can survive on the seas. Although you don't have food. Hey, let's get to the next part of all this. Now, we can't stay on the open water forever. There's secrets out there just waiting for us. <laughs> but the first step in all that is we need to build a research table. Use to research new items to craft. And we'll go right. ahead and just put it right here like this. So we can do all of our work from the home office. And basically, we open the book and we just start dragging everything we have and doing a little bit of research. And once we've researched enough things, we can start to learn stuff. Learn, hey. learn, 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 learn. And now it's time to become suddenly really educated. Knowledge. Look at all this stuff we have now. Purifiers, grills. I mean, not like we're going to use those things, but it's nice to know they're there. We are going to build this smelter, though, because it's going to let us melt copper, which just give it a quick second and it's going to be ready. <laughs> ah, there we go. Forbidden espresso. Give me that. And we need that for a little more. Grabbing it with his bare hands. That's going to allow us to make some vital components. Like circuit boards and simple batteries. No, really. We're going to do that right here on our beautiful toilet raft, which we're <laughs> going to use to make a receiver. Use to locate nearby radio signals. Kind of feel like we're running out of space, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. There's this YouTube channel called Basically Homeless that uh, I think a few months ago actually did make a setup. Uh, yeah, where he built his uh, PC in to his toilet. It was an actual sponsored video and that was pretty freaking fun. These antennas to work and they need to be at a nice high altitude. Well, so be it. Let's build a little something. And for this little renovation, we're going to use wooden pillars. And we'll just place one there and there. And then we'll just do some nice cross beams. That looks about right. And also you can place stairs up here for some reason. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Okay, yeah, this seems pretty good. Added just the right amount of height. I mean, probably. Now that it looks like a screen Come saver. On. Ago. Couldn't be more simple. You just climb up this ladder, jump onto a random beam, climb up another stairway, and then you kind of just go where you want, I guess. I don't know, though. I feel like it's still missing something. Like, it's almost there, but not quite. But I think I know what's going to fix that. Oh, string, string lights. lights. Lots and lots and he lots He best gives that shark lights. away. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. There we go. What a sight this is, huh? Can you imagine for a moment watching one of the least liked of the Pirate of the Caribbean movies? I think that's the one. Uh, Dead Men Tell No Tales or whatever it was called the one where uh, you had uh, Javier Bourdain uh, anyways uh, in that one where he goes to Captain Barbosa searching for Jack Sparrow and uh, <laughs> he's like no I don't know where Jack Sparrow is but I know a greater pirate out there. Hey, there's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Check that one out. We'll put one right here and one right there. And a third one right. Come on, let me place it. There we go. And we actually had to move our setup a little bit higher in the air. But hey, as long as it worked. He is still built on the 4x4. Four four. This thing is insane. Success. And we're trying to go to that location right there. If my calculations are correct, it should be right in that direction. And it's only 1,598 meters away. Well, time to get 
paddling. What do you mean I can't paddle from all the way yeah, up here? You, it's oh, a fine. greater okay, or we're free. We should be there in no time. Oh boy, we're oh so close. Look, there it is now. It's a radio tower. Now here's the thing. Start at the bottom there and scale the whole platform to get all the way up there. You know, oh, I've got no. a better idea. Let's sail the raft as close as we can and just jump off at the top. Wait, what's happening? Last time he didn't anchor it. I really hope that he does this time. Oh, oh. Oh, well, that works even better. Okay, Whoa. change of plan. I didn't know that our chariot would just clip through everything. Well, it looks like we're most of the way there anyway. And here we are at the top. Oh, uh, oh. I didn't oh, realize they added there people. people in this game. Well, hold still. That was the thing that I was wondering about last time. That's great. Hey, a friendly face. Let's not go that far. <laughs> Yeah, you just hang out here, and I'll totally let you know when we're leaving. No way. <laughs> it's not let's head out, it's let's game it out. And his game is going away. Not. We're really just here for a couple of things. One, this blueprint of a recycler. Give me that. And two, we're here for a post-it note, which in theory is going to take us to this, because we need to go to these coordinates. So let's go. Right. Yeah, go ahead and stay right there. We're totally not leaving <laughs> yet. Just stay put. Quick, run! Uh-oh, where's the raft? I think it was out this direction. And don't worry, we'll know if we reach it. See, there it is. So much easier to find it in the dark with all those lights. Okay, God so the damn next it. place we need to go, per our booklet, is 7849. Okay, easy peasy. But you know, since we're so close to this island right here, let's go take a gander. Okay, so we got this big island here, right? And if you stare through the haze up at the very top, there's a building up there. So let's go oh. check it out. Ah, there it is. Oh, please, anchor your damn... It's here that we can buy all kinds of stuff you can't normally find like an air horn as well as different tiers of items to get other wow. goodies like blueprints or over here in tier three the thing i'm looking forward to the detail plank but oh my god they've added so much got a yala horn there or viking horn that's to get cool these things we need to get trash cubes and trade coins and we need to up our reputation to unlock these tiers to get reputation we can sell these unique fish which will get us trade coins and reputation <laughs> so that just leaves where do we get trash cubes you remember that blueprint we got for the recycler well we need to research and build that and then we just need to feed it a bunch of tasty supplies enough that it craps out those cubes and then before you know it, Great. your cup runneth over with trash cubes. But hold that thought for now. We're almost to our destination. Behold, it's a giant ship. So here's the thing about the cruise ship. Normally, we'd need to sneak in and then go down all these creepy hallways. Explode the door. All kinds of quest items we can't use anywhere else. And just like I showed in my previous video, we have to blow open a door to the bridge. And that's at the very top of the ship. And while we can do some fancy parkour to get higher and higher, this isn't going to help us get into the bridge. Use and your raft. One thing we need. That poke. It. And sure, there's an exit door right there, but we can't just use that because it's locked from the inside. Oh, but I have an idea. I'm sure you can see where this is going to go, right? <laughs> so let's just build some nice beams all the way over to the ship and then slowly climb our way up. Yeah, that seems beautifully stable. So we got to go around because the entrance is on the other side. Okay, almost there. Okay, that's getting a little closer. So we can't place a platform here because it's in the glass, but we can no, place it there. Great. We can clip and if we through. Take a bed, just see if we He's going to sleep on it. Wow, that's genius. On the inside. So we can't use the bed through the glass. But seeing as how this whole setup shimmies around, all we need to do is wait for the bed to clip through the glass. And then we should be able to... Oh, I got it. I laid down. Ah, oh, and we slept through the night. Time to get up, I guess. Ah, here we are. Oh, my the God. Oh, that was easy. No need to do all this bomb business. We'll just go in and out the front door from now on. Okay, so anyway, we need this thing that's on the steering wheel. That says Balboa. And to nobody's surprise, that's going to take us from vegetarian over to Balboa Island. Take that quest we were supposed to do. Feels good to do that clearly as it was intended. Okay, we'll be seeing you, ship. Okay. Every developer. <laughs> Josh, hey, welcome to Let's Game It Out. So today we are playing... Oh, damn it. He's gonna find all the bugs. Next round of coordinates, all for us. Here we come, Balboa. No, they are mechanics. Sorry. Points. Mechanics. Not too far away. We'll get there before you know it. But first, we're gonna make another pit stop. One of these islands with the shop. Now that we have those million trash cubes, it's time to do some some spending but first we need to get some trade coins which is a reminder we can get by buying special bait then catching and selling different fish which gives us trade coins and reputation easy buy the fancy fishing bait use it yeah. to catch some wild fish like so until it's sell a clock and i'm ready to trade ta-da all the way to tier three now Damn. we have access to everything i mean obviously we're gonna have to buy the air horn okay let's see how are you 
Yep, about well, what I expected. That's underwhelming. But mostly we're here for one thing, the detail plank. Adds details to your raft design. Okay, let's see how this thing works. So we attach one end. Always a strong start. Oh, I see. It's like a variable length thing. And then you can attach it somewhere oh. else. And then we can just add more and more. Wait, do I have to connect this to anything or can I just aim it into the sky? You can aim it into the sky. Oh I see God, where this is going. going. And going and going. Well, this kind of gives me an idea. Give me a few minutes. Oh boy, that took me a while. No, not all these lights. They're as they were before. I'm talking about the thing they're currently encompassed in. That's right. We made a tornado raft. <laughs> Look at its grand size compared to that island. And how beautiful it is to just watch it wandering through nature. And look- I didn't realize that that was the actual raft. I thought that he had built, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Like, I'm into biking, right? So there are these um, tournaments that sometimes occur. Like, you know, for example, the velodromes for bikes, but for motorcycles, there are like, uh, there's death, wall of deaths. That's what they usually are called by. But those motorcycle drones that are insane, that's, I don't know why I thought about that, but that's what I saw in that image. But yeah, he made a tornado raft. Ugh. Wonderful. Look at all the lights still visible from the outside. And that's because a lot of the original raft is still in there. You know, just generously encompassed by this giant funnel. And don't you worry, the shark is still with us. But at least for the I'm moment, I'm surprised she hasn't safe, broken it. I went ahead and installed foundation Great, armor, okay. which once added, will keep the shark from biting it. Oh my god, look at us approaching this little tiny raft. I don't feel like its odds of surviving Hurricane Us are very good. <laughs> oh no, there it goes. Anyway, now that our raft is nice and complete, time to head on over to whatever the next thing is why look there it is now watch out island we're coming in for a landing now <laughs> one way we could tackle this island is go in the normal way where we have to worry about stuff like bears and do terrible things like use our legs to walk Ugh. yeah and then we have to use our brains <laughs> to What's keep that from getting for? lost over my dead pile of boards we're gonna do it that way all right here we go just building all the way to the, the island. physics it couldn't be more simple see that was easy Ta -da, no problem speaking of no problems to get to this relay station they want us to figure out how to lower this bridge oh whatever will we do <laughs> really we could just jump off here but then we'd have to do all that walking over there and then climb up all those stairs just to get up here the floor is lava board express thank you very much and here we are okay now you just hang out right here i'll be right back it's gonna be a short trip anyway all we're doing is turning on the power and then we're heading over here so that we know the relay station is on and then it's time to hop back aboard our noble steed and i think the next place we're we're gonna want to go is right over there and here we are we know the drill come in here and uh, oh hello nice tan More lines people. here if you decide you want to try your hand at this knock yourself out with a detail plank now me i'm just gonna go do my thing <laughs> two relay stations active thanks for all your hard work me i'll just be leaving now and just a quick romp to the last one a quick romp indeed see there's the other place we just were and here's my stable walkway adjust altitude okay and let's oh guess it he's up. bouncing that crazy okay time to shove off let's untether ourselves shall we Huh. Couldn't help but notice there's still a lot of that over there. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Two, zero, one, one. Okay, we'll be there momentarily. Although it looks like our highway in the sky is following <laughs> us. Well, that's good. At least we don't have to do anything about it. Oh boy, and we're oh so close now. What a lovely sight. Yes, let's just go right inside. Hello, caravan town. The tornado <laughs> is here to hang out oh, for a no. bit. So normally there's a whole lot of verticality we have to do. Or do but... we? At this point, I think we're above all that. Literally. So instead, we can get every Everything done rather quickly, which is going here to the mayor's house. And because it seems like the classiest way, we'll just hop in through the window. And specifically what we're looking for is what's in this chest, which unfortunately requires a key. But for that, we mm. need to head back the way we came a little bit and forge a new path over here oh, to no. the infirmary. <laughs> but in order to get the key we're looking for, we have to get in here, which requires itself a key. Or wait, do I? Never mind, I just grabbed it through the window. Well, works for me. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. You're Ugh. fine. Hello, mayor's chest. Have a key. Ah, engine controls. Not sure what I need that for, but more importantly, a new note. And done and done. Okay, next place. Hey, Dengora. did I mention that I installed this sweet wheel? And if I take this thing and just rotate it all the way to one side. Oh boy, now we're a real tornado. Spinning in the wind, complete with, I guess this would be really creepy lightning. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> the important part is that we're here now. Oh, giant golf ball. I've missed you. And it looks like we're coming in for oh, a landing. Oh, he's gonna do gonna it go so right easier now. 
Sure is. Ah, uh, and we are as one. Unfortunately, try as I might, I can't get the rack. You can't, force okay. me onto the other side. But that's okay. We don't need to force our way in. We can just go in through the front door. First things first, let's just go straight up to the top to get to our objective without even going inside. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what if we just go straight for that ladder? Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Hello, can I get into this hatch, please? Okay, so it looks like the hatch is locked. And we need it open because the next set of coordinates are in there. I guess can we have go to do it the underwater so There's also like a door up time. here that should lead us right to a keypad that should get this whole thing in motion. And it looks like we can't go in through these doors either. So I guess that means we have to go in the old-fashioned way. So basically, to get inside, we need to follow these little arrows, which will take us around the side of the building where we can get inside. Wait a minute, can this go into the water? This can go into the water. Oh my goodness, and oh. so can we. Oh my god, this is so... He's not affected by... He can breathe underwater. What? Well, welcome to the detail planks, magic. Confusing. It doesn't know we're underwater. I'm just standing here, obviously underwater, but the game doesn't <laughs> seem to think so. Here's how I know. If I were underwater like this, this meter shows up and I start losing oxygen. But if I surface, let that meter fill back up and then back down into here, the meter doesn't show up. Can I just stay down here? Oh my God, and just the walk. shark doesn't even care about me. Like if I get off the raft, the shark definitely sees me. But if I stay on this platform, shark doesn't care at all. This is amazing. Well, hell, why not just stay underwater all the time? Oh, I think this is our exit. Time to surface, I guess. I like how I could just get on land at this point, but why bother? Let's just take this all the way into the facility. And here we are. Welcome to whatever the name of this place was. Now, something we want to stay away from are those, because if we get too close to them, they want to help us. I'm okay, thank you. I love the idea that there's this whole big expansive place to explore, and we're just like, nah, I'm just going to ignore <laughs> nah. the laws of physics and just climb all the way to the top. And here we are. Hello, elevator. Take me to the... Hey, wait a minute. I wonder if I can get the boards in here, too. Only one way to find out. Okay, so these boards can go straight up. So if I attach one side right here, and then I climb up on this, so then I'm basically clipping through the floor. Okay, here we go. Well, no need to take the elevator, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure this is what they had in mind when they added this item to the game. Let's add a variable length board. Give people ultimate customization and so much more. Well, we've done some good work here. And we're almost out. Here's the elevator door. Can we just walk through this? No. No, we can't. But I wonder Here's if we can board. just use the boards <laughs> to shove us through. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey, it worked. Okay, I guess we could have just used the button. But that was Sheesh. so much more fun. Okay, and now it's time for the emergency bridge He brute forced it last time. Before we push this button, I need to know something. Here we are back again at all this stuff. If I was able to clip through all that, I wonder if I can clip through this. I mean, we have to know now, right? Okay, this setup's going to be a little more elaborate. Now, normally what happens is we put in the code and the thing gets launched and then it lands in the ocean we can go inside and get our next code so honestly i don't even know if it loads anything into this before it gets launched which is why we need to find out oh looks right. like there's something in there all right we just got to get the game to let us in now Ah, there we go. We made it in. Oh, good. I'm glad we can see this from the other side. Well, let's take a look and... What? I'm sorry. There's a person in here? Were you just watching no! this happen? How long have you been She gets here like lunch this? with it. Ah. You there. Get me out of this thing. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. And that's this post-it. Give me that. Okay, oh, looks no. Okay, like we're heading to 9463. Don't worry, though. That woman seemed like a bad person. So we're going to leave her in that chair, but we're going to launch her anyway. And we already know the code because I brute forced it in my last raft video. So here we go. Like the bourgeois she is. I hope you have a nice time down there and don't sink to the bottom of the ocean. Actually, who am I kidding? I don't care. Well, back to the raft, which is looking more and more like yeah, a hostile so many tendrils. We play. <laughs> now it's on to Varuna Point, also known as the new content in the final chapter. Thank goodness everything's kind of close together. Okay, bye golf ball thingy. Oh. Which looks remarkably cracked <laughs> thanks to all my ramps. Just look at all the memories we've formed. This one here floating in space. Uh. That's when I went to the Bear Island and skipped everything. And this one right here. This is when I went to the island of RVs and also skipped everything and can't forget that we learned how to breathe underwater forever. Oh boy, we can see whatever it is on the horizon. Can't wait Massive to see what crane. mysteries it holds. Okay, it looks like we've got two buildings and a giant crane in the middle. Thank goodness that height poses no problem for us. Now, something I haven't talked about using very much is an anchor, which is just a lovely yeah. pile of rocks. And we're going to attach it to this building to make sure we hold in place. Huh? Ah. Yep, there we go. That's right. <laughs> this bucket and that piece of rope is going to hold 
hold this whole thing in place. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Well, yep. let's take a gander. We're gonna start by doing this on foot. I know, I'm scared too. All this verticality we can't control. Ooh, now I'm into this. What do you mean I can't use this? If I can't use it or knock it over, what's the point? Other sights to see include dumpster, scaffolding, and also whatever this is. Oh, it looks I'm like this is for a zip line, uh. but it is kind of going the wrong way, so we're not gonna get very far. Besides, why would we do that? Why would we want to use our hands? Not when we can build a <laughs> ramp straight to heaven. Okay, we can almost reach it. Having built yet another amazing tendril from the raft. And <laughs> departure is now. Let's see what we got. Okay, standard places to sleep, bunch of places to climb, not much going on here. And for some reason, the police scanner won't work. And here I was, ready to locate some crimes. So I guess we could go check this out. So let's go the old-fashioned well. way. We... Wonderful. But hey, yeah. at least my legs still work. You're uh, doing crime against physics. That's what the <laughs> that's what you're doing. Let's get this finished before we got here. Well, let's see what's up here at least. What do you mean I can't open the door? What do you not want me to find out that's in there? Okay, you've left me no choice. Time to go back to the raft. Oh, oh, there's more stuff underwater. A lot hmm. more stuff. Okay, I think we know what happens next. First, let's redirect our boards all the way back down. Okay, almost there. And coming in for a landing. Oh, and in case you were wondering, oh, that's there's great. nothing in this building. Well, at least that's that mystery is solved. Time. It's pretty good when you need to gather resources because you're sometimes always hampered by uh, oxygen and then you don't need to craft a diving helmet and all that. So pretty genius to do some deep sea diving now as i build this i realize that these air bubbles here are supposed to help us replenish our air but why ah. do that when this lets us breathe forever <laughs> so it looks like we have a series of jellyfish here blocking an entryway and based on how this light up here seems to keep the jellyfish away until it turns off and then they separate again when it turns back on something tells me that's what we're supposed to do with this one if it weren't broken to separate these ones here but i'm sure your but... mind is going where mine is right which is do we have to or can i just kind of build into them okay e Easy, easy. Ah, okay, no, I guess it won't work that way. No. It knocks me off of my boards, which makes me a mere mortal. And we can't have that. So I set up a board over here that allows me to restore my lovely just wandering underwater status. So be it, we'll do it the old fashioned <laughs> way, which means exploring underwater apartments. Pardon me, doors coming through. Well, there's <laughs> what we need. Can this thing see us? Apparently we not. The light Excellent. Bolt. Give me that spotlight part. Sure makes it easier that these things can't see us. It definitely makes it easier to sneak into people's beds bedrooms and steal their light bulb parts. And there you go. Ah, perfect. Then let us proceed. Well, this certainly looks promising. Oh, and what might this be? G? Oh, oh, I see. I'm not perturbed. And apparently oh. neither are they. Just like with the other shark, I guess they can't see me as long as I'm on the board. What oh, in the world is, is that? Gift that just keeps on giving. Anyway, what the hell are these? I can just pick a these A rhino up. shark. Oh, uh, okay. Can I just throw these at the shark? Apparently not. Okay, let's just hop off this and actually swim and see. Oh, uh -oh now it sees me. It sees you now. Oh, okay, I think I see how this works. Basically, we need to take one of these things and then carry it over to one of these columns and then just shove it in. And then we have to convince Old Faithful here to crash into it. Nice work, dummy. And then that gives us access to a new area. Don't worry, shark friend, we're coming. And rinse and repeat. Nice job, shark friend. You truly are the sharpest tool in the shed. And after doing this pillar business one final time, been nice to know ya. I guess now that the shark is out of the way, let's proceed and see what the treasure awaits us. Oh boy, I wonder what the treasure is. Jewels? Other riches? Oh, nope. a key. Another Wait, a key. key. I know where that goes. You mean I could have just clipped into this this whole time? How did I neglect to look at this? Oh, Go for the yeah, crane. I oh. use it from the inside. So it was essential. Just like killing that shark was. Oh, how convenient. It's right near my raft. Look at all that trash and stuff. I bet it's nice and soft. Let's give it a look. Ah, you're fine. Ooh, and what's this? Could it be our next location? I bet it is. Time to head to Tempura Island. Goodbye, glorious island. And now to do the dance of celebration while we wait. What a sight. What a creepy, <laughs> creepy sight. Well, this is different. Not used to snowflakes. Wow. Maybe this island coming up is going to fill us in on those oh, details. A oh, a nice one. Huh. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting an ice region. And look how insurmountable this would be. You know... Oh, no. The tornado raft will turn into a titanic raft. For someone else. Not us, though. We can reach everything with the greatest of ease. And let's go see what this thing is. Oh, Hello. an observatory. Hello. Anybody home? Door's locked from the other side. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, door. <laughs> because you're about to be open from this side. 
Ah, uh, in we go. Door is now open. Okay, so what is in here that we need? Well, I don't know what was going on in here, but thank God they have Wi-Fi. Let's see what's <laughs> up here. Ah, the telescope part, but I'm scoping out something else right now. A safe. How many numbers are we looking at? Four total. Well, you know the drill. There is undoubtedly a puzzle to solve here, but I prefer my method. Brute force. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, zero, no. Zero, zero, one. Zero, 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 two. Five, nine, six, four. Ah, there we go. Behold our prize, the Celine Dion key. We'll just go out the front of this telescope. What a beautiful view. Oh, and what's that over there? Our it is so fitting as well with the Titanic reference. And was that an Aurora Borealis? No, that's not how the Northern Light works. Next destination, that's what. Fingers crossed that this is gonna be awesome. Ooh, this looks fun. Hello, oh, what are you? Toxic Ooh, waste. This is feeling really good on my skin. Okay, I think we can safely conclude this is radiation. And I'm glad to know that my guy has a built-in Geiger counter. Oh, thank <laughs> God, there's an entrance over here. The Celine Dion Research Facility. <laughs> can we just go right in? Apparently not. Ah, this must be the switch. Requires one blowtorch. Hell, it does require a blowtorch. Oh my God, calm down. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I guess it is one board attached to a bunch of other boards that extends all the way back to my raft. I guess those waves are getting pretty choppy a thousand boards back. Anyway, you know the drill. Okay, so we'll just do the old standard force me through the wall tag. Yikes. And there we go. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> Reactor malfunction. Oh god, do I need to care? Insert control rods. Uh, doors locked from the other side. Uh, can I just <laughs> jump into this, please? Just give me one of these and I'll do it. There we go. Looking great. And just see if we can't just get into this reactor room without the reactor key. Easy. Easy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Onward and downward. Hello. Let's see, what is this? Hold to rotate smoothly. You got it. Oh, looks like I didn't have to go get the rods after all. They're just right here. And one. And second rod is in. And three. Thanks, game. <laughs> I feel really good about those fuel rods. I He's broken the game so far that he didn't even need the, f the thing to activate it because it was a requirement, though. But I guess they actually didn't program somebody to actually put it in the machine. I totally didn't get on. Ah, what do we have here? My blessed post-it note. Time to go to Utopia, it looks like. Well, that was easy. Ah, the raft looks so pretty at night, doesn't it? As we punch in our coordinates for the promised land. Unfurl the sail, spin the wheel, second star on the right and straight on till morning. And we're almost there. Ooh, a whole city. Quickly, let's put out our bucket. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and just put it, what, in the center of town? Yeah, why not? Here you go. Anchor away. So Utopia is our final destination of the game. Whoa. I don't really know what that means in terms of what we'll find, but it probably bears a little observing just to see what we got. So let's exercise our legs a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. Uh. So we've got dirt and more dirt and even more dirt. Utopia, you are riveting. So Thomas. I climbed around this town for a little bit and here's what I can tell you. Lots of buildings, nobody home. To what end? Don't know, don't really care. And by that I mean... Yeah, what would that be? Kind of suck down there. Maybe we just when there were to go others higher. in the previous. First, check out this thing. What do we got? Requires one harpoon, one carbon dioxide canister. Why, what does this do? Oh, does it shoot all the way over to that? I have a better idea. Instead of that fetch quest, how about I fetch some more boards? Yes, capital idea. Well, that was easy. Hey, wait a minute. It wants me to ride a zip line Yay. down to here. Well, all right, but this better be worth it. Ooh, looks like an entrance. Oh no. Two padlocks. Requires two entrance keys. Well, you got it. <laughs> I'll go get my tools. This is pretty much standard <laughs> operating procedure now. And before you know it, other side. Couldn't be more simple. And of course, we'll take our planks with us to the elevator. Okay, and almost there. Okay. I actually went past the elevator and just popped in through the floor. And the journey continues. What mysteries will we find? Wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. There's some guy up there. What can I do you for, sport? What are you doing in this building? Hey, I'm talking to you. Nice outfit. Unfortunately, I think I broke him until we go down and do whatever all this stuff is. Like but a hey, militia. It'll be easier from the other side, since I can drop this ladder down ahead of time, which I'm probably not supposed to be able to do. Hello? Hello? Look around! Oh, that woke him up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. God, he sure has a lot to say, doesn't he? Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. Where are we headed now? 
<laughs> I didn't realize we were dealing with a wizard. Well, something tells me we're going to see him again. Now that we've sequenced broken everything, we just need to figure out where he probably went. Well, I did find this door, which is locked. And obviously, I don't have the key. I mean, unless you count my skeleton key. So we're supposed to jump down here and then fight all of this. Oh, and there he is up there. Well, instead of dropping down here, I say we go in through the side and scare the crap out of him. Just, just keep... Put this here. Okay, oh, there we go. Oh, they kidnapped the people and... Oh, the citizens of the of uh, this place. Other side. Let's go say hi. Hey, buddy, it's me again. No, still not impressed, huh? <laughs> All right, well, let's back up till we can find your little place. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> oh, wait, come back. We're in hot pursuit. Where do you think you're going, you ruffian? You think this beautiful long hallway is going to intimidate me? <laughs> well, think again. Oh, what in the heck is this? I can tell you what I do know. I'm probably supposed to go down this way, but probably not up this way. Okay, and there we go. Let's go say hi, shall we? So I get the feeling we're supposed to be oh. fighting this big animal, right? It's probably not just supposed to be hanging out while we get closer and closer to it. Can we just hit it from here? Apparently not. Well, at the very least, I'm just going to hang out up here with you. And you know, instead of fighting you two, I think I'm just going to leave you both here and proceed. Let's go. Let's see what's down this hallway. Ah, nothing. Nothing is down this hallway. Where were you planning to run to this time? So I think what's happening is an elevator is supposed to appear around here somewhere. I guess we can go all the way up there. Which means we're going to leave all this behind and just go straight up to Completely that Completely skipping the now, boss fight. this is a boss battle I can get behind. Almost there. And we're here. Hello. Uh-oh, he seems aware of me this time. Time because it keeps backing up. I will oh, not. Oh, he's going to fall. Okay, those noises did not sound like someone who died the way we want them to. Nope, seems very much alive. Well, yeah, he is alive. that key that's dangling, which appears to be the master key. Whatever the hell that does. Well, I guess now we need to figure out where that master key goes. I mean, it's got to be somewhere, right? Nope, think I found it. Use one master key. Well, now I wish I'd seen this beforehand. What? After all, we can hear people in there. Although I oh, okay, admit, those are the inhabitants. Sure where the voices are coming from. Seeing as how it's a black void in there. Okay, fine, we'll do it the real way. Since you left me no choice. And then it gives you a movie clip. Here, I'll give you the bullet points. A bunch of people poured out of the doors. Corporal Neckbeard was put in jail. And all these people we've never seen before created a new civilization. And now we're back in the game, but there's people around. Except, you know what? I think my sequence breaking has had some consequences. He's still being attacked. He's right here, but he's also right here. Throwing diamonds dynamite at the whole town. <laughs> this could not be more perfect. And now I'm collapsed on the ground and people are just walking past me like it's no big deal. <laughs> I know. Well, that sure was a short-lived civilization. Oh my so god. I fun. I know I did. I'm just gonna watch Utopia burn and I'll see you next time. Oh, and in case you were curious, yes, he's also still over here, along with that giant creature that I never <laughs> killed. I wonder what type of feedback uh, the developers are giving him for this. For, for, for what I understood for the, some of the comments that were left behind is that uh, actually people are, the, the creators are getting back at him, like giving him feedback for this. That was insane. Like they added that in the game and he just used it. It's a feature. <laughs> Perfect, man. That was wonderful. Guys, thank you so much for recommending this video. And of course, I highly do recommend that you go and subscribe to Joss's channel or to the List Game It Out channel. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like and also subscribe button to see more. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time when we check out Satisfactory. Bye.